Hey guys, it's RC here. We are back with episode two of Surviving Mars. We are playing as Russia on 555% difficulty, and we are cranking away. I think what I'm going to do is I am, you know what, now that I have a moisture vaporator, I'm going to go ahead and stick it down here just to have it, and I'm going to go ahead and stick my drone hub in here. Now, I want it somewhere where it can reach everything. So that appears to be a good spot. And I tend to put all my initial stuff on, a, on this starting strand. And we've got a rocket ready to lift off. And there it goes. We just launched a rocket. And we got an anomaly. And we just got our drones and rovers that can now move 20% faster. So that's good. All right. Now. We've opened up some new stuff. You can see our systemic training is almost halfway through. This is important. I want that less fuel. And that's going to be important when we, like we just built that drone hub. Every drone hub we build will have two additional drones and the maximum number of drones will increase by 80. So that'll be big. And that gets one more unlock in the two categories that I am looking for certain things. So my, you know, my thing is social engineering robotics. Those are the three that I want to charge up first. Biotech will have some things because in fact, I'm going to go ahead and put that in. We want to unlock farms. In fact, farms should probably be the first thing I do. I am going to go ahead and put in a, well, I'm going to put in a barrel dome, I believe. 20 metal, 20 polymers. I'm just going to put you up here. Let's do that. How far out can you reach? Okay. So I kind of want to keep that in mind. So let's turn him sideways. And let's pop him in right there. And... Let's pause it because I got a dust storm I need to look at, but I want to get my piping down. We'll do that. Uh, I do, when the rocket gets back, I'm going to have to send some more supplies because I do need polymers. All right, we have a dust storm coming. So when a dust storm hits, Moxie's moisture vaporators and solar panels will not work. All right, they have finished that. We uncovered another grid of concrete, and you can see we're kind of down. So let's let's add in and start scan. We'll we'll kind of extend out in both directions. Our drone hub can still reach everything. The there you always want to make sure too. Put down your drone hub before you launch your rocket, or your second rocket in this case because your drones will then be left without a power source and they can't recharge anywhere. So you've got to put that drone hub down. All right, we've got another anomaly that we discovered way out here. The flask, that's research points. So that will kick in for us over there. And I have another RC driller. Let's get him over here and he'll start working that area. And I will put down a metals depot out here. And we've got the dust storm. It's going to last for two more days. So luckily, power won't be affected horrendously. I do want to set my drone hub to be the max priority for any power or anything else. So that stays running. Oh, the other thing, whenever you do get these, and I, right there, let's close you up. When they're open, they're more, they take more damage. So, all right, and there's our drone swarm. All right, and there we go. So what I'm going to do, I want this one first, so I'm going to hit Control and then left click, and that moves it up to the top. And let's go ahead and go there, and we'll have that researching away. The other thing I can do here, let me put up a... Uh, I'm going to put up one small wind turbine. I like the big ones, but in a dust storm, these work faster. 
we got a 17% benefit from our elevation. And you can see it's generating 18.4%. Now, if we look at it, it, re it generates five power at base. So then we would get 17% uh, over that, but we're generating 18.4 right now. And that's because of the wind from the dust storm. Uh, looks like our rocket has landed. So let's send him back. We're going to send him back with 25. I want 10 more of these. And I'm going to bring 10 of those. And let's launch with that. Uh, the other thing I can do, because we are going to have two rockets, We'll put another pad here. Now what the pad does is when the rocket lands, it no longer generates a dust cloud. So it could be right next to these, uh, these solar panels and they won't get dusty because of the concrete landing pad. And I tell you what, let's stick a trade pad out here too. Let's turn it around. Trade pads allow you to trade with other uh other uh, settlements and we can set it up to export things that we have extra uh, like later on we'll have we can try to get polymers for concrete all right lambda industries deep space telescope so they want us it's not analyzing the data all right so they want us to research that which is 2500 so I want the Explorer AI first, then we'll pop that in. We'll also get a research benefit for researching a breakthrough, and we'll do that. All right, we are doing okay. We, did, we found another polymer somewhere there just a minute ago. And let's keep spreading out there a little bit. We do have 270. Now, the very first thing, remember how we, oh, we don't need power, okay? So what we can do is we can come out here and right at the edge of the drone hub, see that says too far away, but right there is not. So let's put one there and one there. So now we'll have four and they'll be farther out and that will extend our radius that we get the bonus to, right? I wonder, I am going to, let's go into terraforming and build a ramp. Now I want a very small ramp and let's come up from right Maybe right here, up to there. And we're gonna make that a very low priority. And let's go ahead and bring our, I'm gonna leave, let's bring our drone commander over here and they can start working on that. Uh, it'll be a low priority. And you can see now they're working away on it. So what they need to do, is they need to clear excess waste rock. There'll be 89 waste rock. It'll take them a little while to do that, but what that'll do is that'll give us a ramp up into this area, and that'll be a good deal. All right, uh, let's see. So our battery's depleted. The dust storm is over and we have a power issue. All right, but the dust storm's over, so let's open that back up. And I want another battery right there. And we've got a power accumulator not working, so it's broken. So you have to repair it with a polymer. And luckily, that rocket has just landed. Or that one's ready to go. So we'll let him take off. We do have fuel starting to come in. This rocket's now ready to land. 
And there we go. All right, let's see if there's anywhere we can send this guy. So you do get these anomalies on the planet as well. So we can send a rocket off to scan those. Sometimes they'll take a drone. Sometimes they'll take one of our vehicles. Sometimes they take people. Now, the two big ones here is to launch your SETI satellite. So I'm going to go ahead. Didn't we bring 30 in? I did. So what I recommend is you do your SETI satellite with your initial funding that we just sent, right? So send 30 electronics, the metals you should be able to get off the planet, and this will generate $2 billion, right? Then what we can do is we can take that $2 million, and then we can send another rocket with 100 electronics. Basically, we use the, the funding from here to buy the funding, the, the parts for this, and then this gives us a permanent 400 increase to research. So we're gonna send the expedition here. We're gonna use that rocket, and that's gonna go. This rocket's already going back to Earth, so I, what I'd like to do is go ahead and get, now here's the one thing. Do I send the people now, or, do I wait until I uncover the technology to bring 20, uh, 20 passengers instead of 12 or 24 instead of 12? I would like more up front, but the other thing I need to do is I really need to unlock farms. So we're going we're gonna to do this one first, and I'm going to try to uncover farms as a priority. Boom. All right, so we got 500 for constructing a dome. There's four of the planet anomalies. These are great. So because we discovered this through the anomaly scan, everything in our physics tech is now reduced by 10%. So you can see that there is a 10% cost reduction, meaning it'll cost 900 instead of 1,000. Uh, and you can elevate a lot, all of these categories more, and but I really need this one done quickly. Um, so I'm not ready to build anything in there yet. You can see we need 50 fuel, but we are we and we did remember it was 80, but we've researched this advanced engines, so they take less fuel to to take off and land. So that's a good thing. And you can see now we are at 220% out here. So seven, eight, nine. We've got another anomaly here. Even with the automation, try to stay in the habit of getting stuff out there. All right, there's our two, $2 billion. This rocket's only halfway back. All right, he's ready to go. Uh, oh, hold on. He doesn't have any room to put it. All right, so we are going to build a polymer depot. Let's do that right here. And they will grab all of that. All right, there's our AI uh, research. So now we've gone from 200 to 300. So that's good. And as soon as he's empty, he sh oh, and he needs a machine part too. Fair enough. Let's go ahead and do a machine part, and I'm going to go ahead and do an electronics while I'm at it. They'll empty him out, and then he will take off, and there he goes. All right, I'm not ready to build the Moxie yet, not until I actually get it started. Uh, let's take a look. So we have plus seven power during the day. We want to try to make sure our batteries are charging up all night, you know, completely. I need one moxie or one oxygen, but I don't need it because I don't have people yet. And we have 200 water stored. So these, even though they're running, they will not pump. They're pumping just the minimum amount of water. It's generating one out of seven water. And that's just to run the, the uh, fuel refineries. Uh, and we are generating 24 a day between them. I'd like to have a third one just here in the initial going, but I don't have it right now. All right, drone prototypes. 
All right, Aspen Glow Robotics, uh, more drones, or we could reject it. Uh, and if we were an oligarch, then we could uh, negotiate to get double. But let's go ahead and accept them. What's the worst that could happen, right? <laughs> All right, it's ready to land. We're going to land him on the shuttle there, or on the landing pad. All right, we're going to salvage that. All right, so we picked up more. Now, we just finished. We found eight underground deposits. So we get eight free supply pods. So if we ever go back to Earth and we want to send a, we're out of rockets for whatever reason, now we have nine supply pods. Now, these are your free ones, right? Typically, they cost, a hundred. Uh, I think, $100,000, but we got that. So that's good. All right. We are not doing a whole lot of anything here, guys. All right. Let's go ahead and get this started. Let's build. I do have apartments. Now, a lot of times you don't want to build apartments first. And I'm trying to see. Let's go this way. All right. So we're going to build an apartment. Now, the whole thing with domes. You want a comfort level, especially for us, we want domes with a high enough comfort level to generate birth. And you can see we have a birth threshold of 55. Now, as that's normal. Now, as a doctor, remember, it's cut in half, I think. Is that right? Yes, lowered by 15, not half. So instead of 55, it would be 40. So we want some comfort in here of 40. So we've got a place to live. Let's look at services. So we're going to put an infirmary in here. We are going to put um, a diner. And I always, I, I have a mod for something called Cafe Mars. And I use that instead of space bars and grocers. Uh, so the diner, you can do dining, social, and food. Grocers do food and shopping. Actually, no, dining. I don't want the diner. My bad. Let's uh, delete that. I want the grocer in there because that does shopping. And then we want the Cafe Mars. The thing I like about Cafe Mars, it takes more employees, so that's the drawback. But it it does the same thing as basically two or three other buildings and it leaves the three corners open so we can use that for passageways or we can bring in some of these small uh buildings like that but i do want a farm really bad but we haven't discovered it yet i'm still not going to build the moxie and my goal is not to need the polymers That'll be a good one to get. That'll up the RC transport from 30 to 45 and increase its speed or how fast it loads and unloads. So that'll be good. That, that particular, oh, and there we go. That's another one. So let's pop it to the top. That's another 100 research increase. And you can see I'm going to go ahead and change my layout to this area so it's easier to see in that dome. All right, okay, we, one of these new drones has screwed up. Weird. All right, so we're going to salvage it and get a metal back. Interesting. All right. And there's a lot that just opened up. So remember, we were researching the drone hub, the drone swarm. So now we can build drone hubs with the two extra per. So that'll be good. Now, I can always take those out. Not a big deal. I'm just putting in as I see the things that I really want. All right, so that's going on. Earth is nearly complete. Uh, Europe is going to research a breakthrough. I believe researching a breakthrough gets us 500. So you know what I'm going to do? I am going to... I'm going to delete that. Oh, there is the farm. Yes, please. So we're going to do the breakthrough, then the drone hub. 
No, nah, I'd like that transport first. Let's do that. So hopefully we can get the... Oh, uh, boy. Okay, I tell you what. Let's go ahead and do a passenger rocket. I it, Remember, no specialties. So we're going to have to train everybody. But what I do want is I would like more sexy people. Because sexy has an increased birth rate. All right, we're going to launch this. Now, because we're launching it, I do need to now come in and I need to build a moxie, which takes water. And then I also want a couple of oxygen tanks. And I'm going to build one more water tower. Yeah, I just, you know, I was looking to see how many male and females, you know, if I had all, you know, 12 males, nobody, nobody to have sex with can't make babies. And that's something that we have got to deal with. Um, we just lost another one of these drones. All right, that's weird. All right, so they've got a first human. They're researching the breakthrough. All right, so drones are malfunctioning at a pace far from normal. And they have dropped their smug attitude and are apologizing. Um, if you were in, an inventor, you could tell them how to fix it, but we're going to urge them because we're not. We're a doctor. All right, this one is still going to the SETI satellite. It's halfway there. So my goal is, is to get this guy here, send one rocket back. All right, first thing I'm going to do is we're going to lower this in half. What I'm doing is I'm right-clicking on the work slots in order to make that unfillable so nobody will take that job because we're going to have to force people in a certain position. Um, Come on, fellas. You know what? I am going to... No, not yet. I don't want to do this yet. All right. So we don't have enough power. Now, we are, oh, we are here in the daytime, right? Our solar panels are open. So let's do this. Let's... I just want to look... I may not, I may not need that, but I tend to put piping everywhere I put power. Just in case, right? All right, and then I want to run more power cables out this way. And then we are going to start putting solar panels out this way. Like that. All right, where is... All right, this guy's still gathering. My two drillers are working. All right, what's the deal with you? Okay, it didn't have, it didn't have power. Fair enough. All right, um, so what I want to do is let's build... couple more batteries like that dang it all right i knew that was going to happen and they completed the first human on mars so we missed it all right well that's fine um it would have been nice to have gotten all the all the points but and you can see this uh, we're bringing in a lot of metal here that's almost full. Let's build another metal depot, maybe up on this side, about right there, because we do have a lot here. In fact, let's build, I'm going to build a, uh, I'm going to build two metal depots. Let's put a concrete depot up here as well. And I want a universal depot, um, no fuel. 
please. And that'll allow him to start doing some stuff. Let's go ahead and put a cut in here, guys. Uh, so we've got people coming. Our first wave, our only wave of settlers, because we're only able to launch one passenger rocket. So uh, we'll have to get this going, and they need to start making babies, like, right away. In fact, real quick, while I'm thinking about it, I am going to build another barrel dome. No, I'm not. I am going to build one of you. I want to go this way. I think so. We'll do that. And I won't be able to do anything with that till. What are you doing? Oh, yeah. Hey, look, they built the ramp. Cool. So that's done. All right. Let's bring you up here. And we will keep it paused. We'll pick up here because I want to get him in range where they can start building this dome. The goal is to start generating children as quick as possible, but we don't want those kids taking up living spaces in our working domes. So we're going to create a kid's dome only for the kids. And that'll be what we're going to work on next, just so it's there. And we do want that generate uh, ready to go pretty much right away. All right, hit that like button, subscribe, and you'll get daily content here on the channel. We'll see you. Bye.